This is Twit. This problem exists when you, anytime you recycle your hardware, you don't clear it off before selling it. You're going to actually leak some data eventually. No. Heck, I used to throw away full writable CDs without microwaving, microwaving them or shattering them. Um, in fact, eBay is always a place where data hungry people prowl. In fact, it's where it's basically hackers delight over there. And it works for hackers. It works for the feds, too. In fact, the feds and even companies like Avast purchase used phones from eBay to see what kind of data they can take off of them. Now, um, or they reverse it and they use it to actually sell a device to actually get it marked. Now, think about what kind of spy work that is. <laughs> now, in this case, what has come up recently is not simply a data device like cell phone. This is actually car parts. Now, there is a huge reseller market for car parts, and Tesla is also included in that market. In fact, Tesla infotainment systems are well sought out in the aftermarket world. Among other things, they display Netflix or YouTube videos, run Spotify, they connect to Wi-Fi, and, of course, store phone numbers of contacts. But those benefits require storing heaps of personal information that an amateur researcher found can actually reveal owners' most sensitive data. Now, get this. The researcher went and acquired 13 Tesla media control units that were removed from electrical vehicles during repair and refurbishment. Now, each one of the devices stored a trove, a treasure trove of sensitive information despite being retired. Now, examples of information include phone books from connected cell phones, call logs getting hundreds of entries, recent calendar entries, Spotify and Wi-Fi passwords stored in play text, locations for homework, and other places navigated to and session cookies that allowed access to Netflix and YouTube and attached Gmail accounts. Ugh. Now, all 13 of the devices show that their last location was at Tesla Service Center, an indication that they were removed by an authorized Tesla technician. Now, 12 of those units were actually come from eBay. Okay, so I'm going to bring my co-host in. Curtis, what do you think of this? I mean, since Tesla Service Centers removed these units, uh, could Tesla be maybe held accountable for this? Well, I, I think the question of whether they're going to be held accountable focuses almost entirely on what kind of terms uh, of, of a, you know, the service agreement, the, the terms of service that the uh, owner of the car has signed up for when they uh, began using the car. My guess is somewhere buried in the language is something that says that uh, Tesla is not responsible for a darn thing. Uh, and courts will tell us just how enforceable that is. You know, this reminds me a great deal of a conversation that came up a number of years ago when it was first realized that the same controller that is responsible for deciding whether or not airbags are going to fire, uh, the, the black box, if you will, of a, of a car, also contains information on acceleration, braking, G-forces, sometimes steering, all kinds of things. That's data about the vehicle and its movement. The question is, who owns that data? Because uh, the police decided that it was free for anyone to use, so they began going in and grabbing it to use in accident reconstruction. Of course, insurance companies wanted access to it to decide whether or not they were going to pay out particular claims. And many drivers said, hey, wait a minute, it's our car, it's our data. These are some very seriously gray areas in law. And so I think the big rule is to be aware that your automobile, if it's probably less than five years old, is collecting all kinds of data on you and your activities and you should assume that that data belongs to anyone but you. That's very true. It's very true. All right, Chibers. So what do you think then? Uh, bringing up what Curtis says is most likely Tesla is probably not going to take responsibility for this. So let's think here. Is it maybe the, the seller of the unit that's at fault here? Or maybe it's the person who owned the car that shouldn't store their data? What do you think? What do you think is going to happen here? Are people going to be more careful? <laughs> I, I think it's um, the service center's issue because realistically, if my infotainment system is no longer responding to user inputs and I take it in for repair, the service center should reset it because the user of the vehicle can't. You know, I've seen this right. time and time and time again. Um, this actually kind of 
um, reminds me of a problem that came up with Enterprise Rent-A-Car, where a Ford vehicle with the new sync uh, was not reset. And the person that had rented that car previously and installed the sync app on his phone was able to start, stop, unlock, lock, um, and get real-time information on the location of that vehicle long after he'd turned that vehicle in. Um, so I think this is going to be a new world. We're going to have to start thinking, you know, how are we going to get rid of things? Um, may I, uh, my personal opinion is, gee, we have those key fobs and it's really convenient that we're not, ha we can keep it in our pocket, but maybe we should be plugging it in to our infotainment system as like a USB drive or something like that so that all my PII sits on the key fob, not in the infotainment system. So I think I'm going to predict a landmark class action suit. Um, and I think it's going to be really entertaining to see what happens. <laughs> I think so too. I think the interesting thing here is uh, Tesla gloats the amount of security they work through, uh, especially since they consider themselves a software company more than a uh, automobile company. So I think this is the interesting thing is they're storing things on this unit. I mean, anybody who has uh, can go and break a window and steal a unit could basically steal somebody's entire life of information when they get their passwords and, and data. So I think this is a very odd thing that was uh, actually uh, brought out. So I'm guessing that Tesla will under the covers probably start taking action to go fix these problems. But in the same issue, uh, it's kind of surprising.